The same mentality that we had against Cherry, the same mentality that we had against Cream Line is exactly how we're going to go into against Petrogas. Win. That's the mentality. <laughs> what I said to the team before we came out, I said that we need to envision ourselves being the champions. Know what we have to do. We're going to come out with the same energy and hope for the same result. This time I'm going for gold, you know what I mean? Let's go Petro guys! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our officials for this match. Our first referee, Herbert Matematico, national referee. Our second referee is Bobby Celso, national referee. And now let's meet the starters first for the Petrogas Angels. Center from the College of St. Daniel, number two, Janelle Chang. Opposite hitter from the University of Santo Tomas, number eight, Isa Maizo Pontillas. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number nine, Rem Palma. Outside spiker from the National University, number 12, Myla Pablo. Middle blogger from Juniata College, number 13, MJ Phillips. Outside spiker from the United States, number 16, Lindsey Vanderweide. Starting liberal from Anderson University, number one, Bang Pineda. Head coach for Petrogas is Rald Rickefort. And now the starters for the Signal HD Spikers. Outside spiker from the Far Eastern University, number three, team captain, Rachel and Duckies. Middle blogger from the National University, number two, Roslyn Doria. Outside spiker from San Beda University, number seven, Cesc Molina. Opposite hitter from the University of the Philippines, number eight, Angeli Araneta. Middle blogger from the University of Santo Tomas, number 18, Ria Meneses. Center from FEU, number 22, Chell Cayuna. Starting Libra from the University of Perpetual Health System, Delta, number 14, Angelique Dionella. Head coach for Signal is Shaq De Los Santos. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is the Petrogas Angels versus the Signal. No change in the starting lineup for uh, Coach Raldrica Ford. Uh, players to watch out. Isa Maiza Puntidas coming off an 11 point performance against the crossovers. Myla Pablo, we talked about her 15 points. Lindsay Vander Weide, 18 points, 46 percent efficiency. Meantime, a little change here, like what you mentioned, Ish. No Tibieria in the starting lineup. This is a really fresh sort of strategy by Coach Shaq de los Santos. Uh, but. Uh, Angeli Arneta coming off a 10-point performance. Mavic Menezes, 11. Two of the three players in double digits in the HD Spikers win against the crossovers. Set number one, underway. And immediately a block by my mind. You mentioned how good she's been in that uh, player uh, watch that uh, we had in the pregame. Right. Uh, Remy Palma currently the number one uh, blocker of this conference. So for sure, uh, she's going to show us uh, how vital her role is in this uh, game. Just to remind the viewers, the first meeting, well, first and only meeting between these two teams was a five-set win by the HD Spikers. It's a, it was a long five-setter. We had set number two at 34-32, won by the HD Spikers. As you see a uh, drop there by... Palma, what a start here for the Angels. Right, right. they know uh, that they need to win this game. Uh, mostly, they uh, need three or four sets lang for them to uh, assure a spot in the finals. This is a signal. They need to play loose so they can get more confident in the next round. Nila, mas confident sila. And right now, the Angels are on a roll. Three unanswered points to kick off set number one. Off to a good start here for the Petragas Angels. Again, it's a Vanderweide. So far. And Myla Pablo has been serving so well to start things off. That's what's really been causing problems for the HD Spikers. Vanderweide 
Janela has been digging so well to start this first set. Molina from the back row, picked up by Pineda. Vander Wide again, block. One, two, play. What a save by Cayuna. Chance ball for the Angels. Cheng. Palma drops it. Cayuna picks it up. Takis cross court. Janela's shoelaces are untied. Oh, another drop attempt is good. <laughs> Never mind that the libero of signals inside the court defending. Take a look at that. At the second try, Janelle Cheng dropping it. The donut hole in Talagay. No, magagawa talaga sila if it's uh, the right exact space where you drop it. And the run is over. Four straight points off the serve by. Mayra Pablo, Cheng scoring, uh, Palma scoring a couple, and then see Van der Weide got into the, the picture as well. So a very good start here for the Angels ish. That's a good sign for the Angels because we know this signal coming off two straight wins in the semifinal round, and all of them uh, contributing in those wins. So they need to match that up. Oh, poor setup job there by Cheng. That doesn't happen very often, so first attack error on the part of the Angels. Let's check in with Ray Dixon. Back to the old Myla. How many times have we heard this phrase over and over whenever she has an excellent game for the Petrogas Angels? While she's happy about the recognition she's receiving, she told me earlier that she feels like a completely different person now. In her days in the UAAP, Myla felt like she was mainly relying on her athleticism and what her body can do. Now she's more mature, using her volleyball IQ and being more tactical in her attacks. Myla recognizes the changes in her body and what she has to do to use it to her advantage. Can she do the same here in the must-win matchup? Let's see here in the opening set. Thank you, Rain. Molina scored, but going back to Myla Pablo, Myla seems to be playing well against. She likes the matchup with the, with Signal. She put up. 17 points in their loss, that five-set loss against Signal. And then after that, she put up uh, single-digit numbers. Three points against the crossovers, three, four, or nine points against Army, six against the cargo movers. But then, uh, a much better performance in her last game against uh, the crossovers at 15. But she likes this matchup. She produces double dig digits against Signal. She has, she has had her ups and downs in this conference. Uh, but we'll see, kasi marami naman siya katulong dito in the likes of MJ Phillips, Isa Maizo. That uh, hit is wide from Angeli Araneta. Back to back, 10 point performances for Araneta. So she's been playing really well. And likes the fact that she complements Tiberia so well on the floor. Angels serving 6 3, opening Ooh. set. Meneses, yes! It's the first time they went to their middle blocker and Riri Meneses did not disappoint. Take a look at that at the replay. Cayuna off to a peak quick to Meneses. That's what they did against Cream, Cream Line. They, they rotated their sets and a lot of them scored double digits in that win against Cream Line. 11 points for Meneses. In the win versus the Cool Smashers, she only put up eight points against the crossovers in their first semifinal matchup. There is a point from Becker Wilder. But this is a be uh, better sign for the Angels, no? Uh, early on in this game, nagi eat na agad yung reinforcement. No, that's what you like to see if you're Petrogas. But speaking of reinforcements, as you see Cheng serve, talk to us about this strategy by Coach. Uh, Shock de los Santos as you see Pablo chases down about Ty Bielia coming off the bench. For one, it's Rachel Andak is playing for Beria inside the court. I think it's because of the leadership that she brings uh, inside the court. And of course, number two reason would be kapag pumasok siya sa loob ng court, may iba yung blocking pattern ng Petrogas agad-agad. And they have to adjust uh, inside the game. 8-4, Angels up over the HD Spikers, set number one.
Switch to Signal Postpaid for more super loaded bonding moments. Get free three months and more when you subscribe today. Call 8888-5555 now. Lindsay Vanderweide, her third point, sent us to our first technical timeout. It's an 8-4 advantage for the Angels against the HD Spikers in our last semi-final game. Uh, this is a very important game for both of these teams. They cannot afford to lose for Signal. They want to win this para naman 3-0 They're very sure of that final spot uh, in the championship round. Pero ito namang uh, Petrogas, they, they have no choice but to win yeah. this because they're at 1-1 tied with Dreamline. Vanderweide is determined today. Ooh, yeah, still a good ball. Araneta with a great save. Vanderweide again. Cross court, yes. Oh, they are milking her. Uh, the early part of this uh, first set, they know that she has to be the hot hand for the Angels today. Coming off 46% efficiency from the field, Lindsay Vanderweide has four of the nine points of the Angels already over receive. MJ Phillips, Chang will set it up. They go to Pontillas. Right. That's a great cross court hit from Maizo Pontillas. Kita kita niya yung butas ng sime. And I think the strategy of Petrogas and Janel Chang in this game is to milk yeah. Van der Weide first. And then kapag kumakagat na sa kanya, ibigay na sa ibang spikers ng Angels. First time out for the HD spikers will listen in. Well, no drastic adjustments yet by Coach Shaq de Los Santos. He's just saying, let's just go back to what we do, back to basics, go to our pattern, do this if this happens, and so on and so forth. I think they should just follow their own game plan in their past two games. They were very good at their blocking, and so far, they haven't blocked a single hit uh, coming from the Angels. Another over-receive. MJ Phillips puts it away. It's been the first ball. Yeah, that's the issue right now in set number one. It's also that. Uh, it's their blocking that's missing so far, and they're passing their first ball reception. 11-4 advantage for Janelle Chang and the Angels. Another good serve, better pass, combination play. Molina, what a dig by Pineda. Here comes Van der Weide, block. And there's the kill by Angeli Araneta. Finally, off of the regalo, Angeli Araneta waiting for that ball. Pero makita mo, andun pa rin si Pineda, waiting for that dig. So they really are hustling on their defense today, talking about the Petragas Angels. Nine receptions, eight digs for Bang Pineda in that three-set win versus the crossovers. Cheng will set it up. They go to the middle. Good save by Kayuna and Dakis. Cheng, Bander Wider from the other side. Junella with a dig. Kayuna, Molina, cross court. It's on the line. That's a good angle chosen by Cesc Molina. She saw that MJ Phillips closed out that block together with Van der Weide. So she had no other option but to go deep cross court. And she actually did. And Isa Isa Pontillas wasn't able to defend that one. A little two-point run oh. here. Make that a three-point run off a service ace by Araneta. This is also one of the components that uh, they been doing well in their last two games in the semi-final round. Their serving has improved tremendously. Kaya naman ang dami nilang panalo so far. From down 11-4, it's 11-7. Angels. Van der Weide had to adjust. The set was behind her. Chance ball for the Angels. Cheng goes to the back. Van der Weide, what a dig by Araneta. Jonella will set it up. Here comes Molina. Cheng again Ooh. to the middle this time. What a block there by Doria. One two play for Cheng. Kayuna sets it up. Molina with a left. She's blocked. Dakis. Araneta, another one two play or make that a, an easy over for the HD Spikers. Maila Pablo unable to get it back. And a point for the HD Spikers. The run continues. Slowly but surely, the blocking of Signal. Rising to the occasion, blocking Isa Maiza Pontillas on the left pin. Take a look at that. That's a good close out from Doria. 
It's now a four to nothing run by the HD Spikers. Cheng, Vander Weide off the block. Molina keeping it alive. Sess will get it back. Overshoots the mark this time, and that ends the run of the HD Spikers. Sess Molina on the approach uh, is way underneath the ball. Kaya naman talagang outside yung pano niya. Pero that's what they do best, no? Kahit hindi nila mag-block yung bola, they just have to do that passive block, the soft touch, and then create their own counter-attacks. Four-point game, what a serve. Kayuna. Molina will try again. She's blocked by MJ Phillips. Good save by Dakis. A chance ball here for the Angels. Myla Pablo is in front. She's blocked. Ooh. And she crossed the middle midcourt line. Myla Pablo with the error. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double <laughs> violation for her. Coach Sack was even shouting it out from the sideline. Just in case our officials didn't catch it. <laughs> Take a look. Myla Pablo sliding down. Trying to avoid the net, doing a little limbo rock there. It yeah. was a net violation and a crossing violation. Ooh. Service out, Molina with back-to-back -back errors. It's a freebie for the Petrogas Angels. It should be wary of uh, the efforts of the Petrogas Angels. Because in their last game, they really need to be aware of So they need to be aware of what the Angels are doing are right in this game so far. At bantayan nila yung mga dapat nilang uh, ginagawa dito. Doria, that was dug up by Phillips. Pablo down the line, picked up by Araneta. Cheng goes to Pontillas. The set was a little low. Jornella diving for it. Doria, what an exchange here. Pontinas, that was set much better, and she put it away. Wow, what a set from Janelle Cheng. Going back to Marizu Pontinas, take a look at that low pass set to the lefty, the legend from UST, Isa Marizu Pontinas, with a sharp cross-court kill. Pontinas, back-to-back double-digit performances, 10 against the Cool Smashers, 11 against the crossovers, but a service error there for MJ Phillips. Keeping the score close, and Signal cannot afford uh, to relax here. They're going up against a very hungry Petrogas Angels. Rose Doria, seven points, two aces in their win against the Cool Smashers. Pontillas with a drop. <laughs> yes, back-to-back -back points for Isa Maiza Pontillas. Having a field day today, varying her attacks earlier. It was a Deep cross court angled hit, but this time around just dropping it behind the block of Dakis. And it seems like Isa Maiza Puntillas has found the fountain of youth ish because during the preliminary round early in the season, she was coming off the bench. Right. I think that seems to be their strategy for the conference. Hindi mo na siya dapat gamitin. Kasi para ma-reserve yung energy niya sa latter part ng conference. Stop by Maya Pablo makes it a six point game. Second technical timeout. Catch the UAAP Season 85 Cheer Dance Competition as the eight cheering squads from all eight universities perform on December 10 at the Mall of Asia Arena. Watch the action live on the UAAP Varsity Channel and on One Sport starting at 4 p.m. Hashtag rise as one. HD Spikers came as close as four points, but Isa Maiza Putinas started to get hot and uh, helped the Angels put up a six-point advantage again. Yeah, I think Isa Maiza Putinas' game uh, haven't been read by actually, honestly, by all of the teams left in the semifinals. Because he's not going to be able to the elimination round. So he's not going to be able to get the semifinals. There's a net touch on Kayuna. She got the kill, but she touched the net. So it's now a seven point advantage. Oh, that's going to be long for Pontillas. They can afford yeah. uh, that error. 
for now, uh, we all know that uh, Signal is very much capable of making a run and catching up. They did that against Screamline, they did that against Cherry Tigo. So, ito namang uh, Petrogas, they cannot afford to relax as well here. Villa General is in the game for the first time for the HD Spikers. Check Janela sitting. There's Myla Pablo. Uh, that's a good one stop coming from Myla Pablo. We all know that Jel Cayuna is currently the number one best server in the conference. She's known for heavy serves. Kaya naman, you have to have that sense of urgency. Nakapag si Cayuna yung serve, kailangan mas stop na natin yung uh, run niya. Pablo is serving again. She's been serving so well today. Meneses. Uh, Second point for Meneses. That's what you get when you have a perfect first ball. Kayuna can just go to her spikers easily. But take a look at that one. Pineda's still there. She's anticipating the balls, the hard balls of uh, uh, the signal spikers here. Six point game. Underhand set for Vander Weide. Kayuna picking it up. General will play setter. Araneta off the block of Vander Weide. Targeting the left hand block of Vander Weide. That's a smart hit coming from Angeli Araneta. Take a look at that one. Sina Johnny, it's target the outside block of Vander Weide. Combination play. Vander Weide puts it away. Yeah. You could see it coming. After that perfect pass, uh, Janelle Cheng, the number two setter so far. Off of a combination play to Vander Weide. Pinapawi ka again. Vander Weide with five already. Palma with two. At least six players have scored already for the Angels. Only four players have made an impact, at least scoring-wise, for the HD Spikers. Palma with a good save. Vander Weide with a power oh. tip all the way to the back. Wow. A lot of attacks. Uh, varied attacks here by the Spikers of the Angels. Take a look at that one. Not much power, but still a point for Petrogas. And Coach Jack De Los Santos calls his final timeout. We'll listen in. It's back to a seven point advantage for the Angels. This is the exact same performance of the Petragas Angels against the Cheritigo crossovers. And so far, they haven't stopped a player here sa side of Petragas talking about signal. They have to stop at least one player dito sa uh, kaponan ng Petragas kasi lahat dito nagko-contribute yeah. in this game for Petragas. Tai Bieria is in the game for the first time, replacing Ces Molina. And you, you saw Jerry Malabanen and a bunch of um, inactive players from the lineup of the HD Spikers. That's outside for Rachel oh, Andaki says. Right now, Petrogas really starting to pull away. They are up by eight. This is their biggest lead of the game. There's Cesc Molina on your screens. Only two points so far. HD Spikers have not led in this first set. No. Oh. <laughs> a lot of unforced errors on the serve coming from the side of the Petrogas Angels. Well, both teams with six errors each in services and attacks. So, so they give it right back. Meneses on a service error there. Yeah, Signal cannot afford that. Yeah. They're way down here in the opening set. And you can see from the body language of the Petrogas Angels uh, uh, they understand the assignment. They know what's at stake here. They're playing really good so far. Guarding all of the spikers of the HD spikers. Vander Weide, that's picked up by General. Yeria, second attempt. She goes over the block and outside. It is now a nine-point advantage for the Angels. So far, uh, it seems like the strategy of the signal HD spikers now off the back of the has not worked, no? I said they exploited uh, 
the Angels exploited that uh, strategy, no? Nawal, right. nawala yung reinforcement ng signal sa loob. Back-to-back -back oh. attack errors-ish for the HD Spikers. Back to that timeout of Coach Shaq earlier, sabi niya, when we are going to attack, dapat wala tayong hesitations. Dapat uh, may laman yung palo natin kasi hindi natin napapahirapan yung, yeah. yung Petrogas in this game so far. Eh. Nine errors in total for the HD Spikers. Good save by Pineda. A lot of tips in that rally. Vander Weide rejected. She picks it right back. What reflexes for Vander oh. Weide, and then she puts it away. Wow. Take a look at that scoreboard area. She dug it, and then she made the tip off yeah. of that rally. The finals mentality showing for the Petrogas wow. Angels in this game so far, Eric. What a first set here for Lindsay Vander Weide, who has seven points. Top scoring for the Angels and a 25-14 win for the Angels over the HD Spikers. We are back here live at the Field Sports Arena in Pasig City. The Petragas Angels winning that first set 25 to 14 under just 23 minutes. What a lopsided set uh, and an opening set win for the Petragas Angels. They need to win this game uh, for them to still be in the running for that gold medal match, Eric. And right from the beginning, it was all Angels with a four-point run to start things off, and everybody getting involved is, I mean, Maya Pablo with the service, um, Linser van der Weide, Isa Maiza Puntillas, Ram Palma, and uh, Janelle Cheng as well. Yeah, it's a total team effort for the Petrogas Angels, just like how we've seen them play against the Cherry Tigo crossovers in that uh, win last uh, weekend. And of course, may kita natin dito sa set number one statistics. Talagang lamang ang Petrogas Angels, no? Attack points 15 to 6. Take a, take a look at that one. Uh, di, di mo may kita ito all throughout the conference. A signal just uh, out, having an output of 6 sa attack. Eh. Blocks, pantay dito at 1 apiece. Aces, 1 parang signal not for Petrogas Angels. And the opponent errors. Ang daming yeah. binigay ng signal from the service line and from their attacks, 9 given to the Angels and only six given to the HD Spikers in that set number one. Lindsay Vander Weide, top scoring for both teams, actually with seven points. Meantime, coach Shaktor Santos with a major shakeup in the starting lineup here in set number two. Ty Vieria comes in. Angeli Erneta is on the bench. Chai Troncoso, who has not played in the last two games, is on the floor for the first time. Well, this is what you call taking a risk for the Signal HD Spikers and for both Shaq De Los Santos because uh, in their last two games, the uh, break yung off the bench strategy nila for uh -oh. Tiberia, but this time around, set number two, they're uh, opting to start her off in this game. Oh, but set number two starting off just the way it did, or like the way it did in set number one. Rem Palma with a kill. One nothing Angels. Yeah, Rami Palma being activated in this game by Janelle Cheng, no? Especially with those blocks. Yeah. Palma with three points already. Pablo with two points. Second service error for Myla Pablo. 
signal if the spikers need to uh, get back on their own uh, pace, no? Kung paano sila maglaro talaga as a team. Kasi Petrogas Angels so far have been milking all of their spikers in this game. Says Molina with a good serve. Molina with two points. But everything the Angels want, the Angels get. There's Lindsey Vander Weide with eight points already. Yeah, very strategic uh, attacking for Lindsey Vander Weide over the blockers <laughs> of the HD Spikers. Eh, yun nga yung strength ng signal in their last two games. Palma with her scoring so far, three points in the game. Bieria to Chai Troncoso, that's outside. Another unforced error on the attack here from the Signal HD Spikers. They cannot seem to uh, get their groove pagdating sa atake, no? Nakakapapa sila kumbaga. Former Lady Tamarao. Rem Palma with the serve. Doria rejected, <laughs> nowhere to go. MJ Phillips with great timing on the block. That's one on one, up in the air. Phillips versus Doria. Pero Phillips reading that attack very well. Talagang payong na payong. That's a monster block from MJ Phillips. Just the second point of Phillips. MJ Phillips coming off an eight point performance against the crossovers. 11 points prior to that against the Cool Smashers. Bad pass, Kayuna underhand set. Chai Troncoso hits and sends it outside again. There is a check ball according to first referee Herbert Matematico, so no need for a challenge here for the HD Spikers. Uh, there's no argument coming from the side of the Petrigas Angels, so that's a point for Troncoso. She's 1-1 one, one here so far. One attack error and one point. Doria coming off a 7.2 ace performance. Against the Cool Smashers. Combination play! It's good. Lindsey Vander Weider, and he now has nine points. That's what you like about Lindsey Vander Weider. She is an American import, but she can also do the combination plays. Usually, uh, the Asian imports do the combination plays, pero itong maganda sa kanya, uh, talaga namang uh, effectively nagagawa niya rin yung plays ng Petrogas. Eh. Na Na-adjusted niya kung anong system yung gusto ni Coach Rico for, for the Angels in this conference. Well, Ty Vieria, also an American import out of New Orleans, with her first point of the match. We'll see if she is gonna make uh, that much needed impact for the Signal HD Spikers in this game. Better serve for Ty Troncoso as over received. Yep, that's an overreach for Janelle Chen. She tried to save that uh, set, uh, but the reception of Lizard Van Der Weide was already on the side of Riri Meneses. That's the right call to make for the referees. Chai Troncoso, formerly from Central Philippine University. Three points in their first meeting against the Angels. Vieria, yes! Tallying her second point of the match, going down the line, telling her teammates to play a bit more uh, inspired. And that's a down the line hit. That's a cut shot. Game is tied for the first time in the match. Ooh! Troncos <laughs> straight to the net. Giving Petrogas another lead here in set number two. Bader Weide, who played as an import in Hungary, France, and Greece. Oh, excellent play there. Kayuna with Meneses for the kill, and the game is tied again. That's an excellent set coming from Kayuna. Take a look at that one. That eight quick to Riri Meneses. And she puts it away. May sumabay na kasing isang blocker kay Kayune. They thought uh, they were, she was gonna drop it already. Cheng to Myla Pablo. Janela picking it up. Molina blocked. Janela was right there. Back row. Bieria into the net. Oh, she was gonna go for a cut shot to zone one. But she knew that the contact was a bit low. 
That's the reminder of Coach Chuck earlier. No? Uh, let's not hesitate when it comes to our attacking. We have to play smart and attack hard as much as possible. Good serve by MJ Phillips. Again, scoring from everywhere is just Pentagon Angels. Two point lead for the Angels over the HD Spikers in the second set. Follow my Team Gilas Filipinas. Watch and support Gilas Filipinas live in the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. Follow my Team Pass Philippines is now available to give you access to all five Gilas Filipinas games in the preliminary round. Purchase your tickets via register.worldcup.basketball. Hashtag win for all. Much closer start here in set number two compared to set number one if you're the HD Spikers-ish. But uh, for the Signal HD Spikers, you want to take the lead because you haven't experienced that Never. so far in this game. That's a poor set there. Meneses unable to get the ball. Here comes Pontillas. Yes! Oh, really varying her attacks in this game. Kanina, daming cross-court angled hits. The deep cross-court but this time around. It's still a cross-court hit, pero it's a long one. Kasi nakita nila nung set number one, yun yung tina-target eh. That center's area in front, pero this time around going for a long shot. Four points now for Isa Marisa Pontillas. One to play, Jerel Cayuna puts it in. That's a good point from Jerel Cayuna off of a drop ball, but still, that's kind of uh, a scrappy play from the single HD Spikers. They want clean hits if they want to win this set against the uh, Petrogas Angels. Janelle Cheng underhand set. And again, wow, Isa Maisa Putillas, uh, she is on the mark wherever she hits. Yeah, take a look at that one on the replay, Eric. Dala one in block sa kanye, pero this time around she went down the line. That's the volleyball IQ yeah. that she brings to the table. Five points for Putillas. Three in the first set, two here. One, two play there for Cayuna, didn't work. Pablo was right there. That set was low, but apparently it was blocked. Looks like they're going to challenge. Yeah, coach, coach wanted to challenge Coach Sakta Santos, but he changed his mind, and rightfully so. Says Molina with a kill. <laughs> he could have halted the momentum of that rally. Yeah, they were going to challenge it, but Says Molina at the tail end of that rally. <laughs> Targeting that seam. Jel Cayuna, five points. Three blocks, seven digs, 16 excellent sets in that win versus the Cool Smashers. It's going to be an ace. Let's check in with Ray Dixon. The Signal HD Spikers feel like they are playing with a chip on their shoulder despite going undefeated here in the semifinals. They were the underdog after clinching the last spot in the final four after defeating Choco Mucho. Captain Rachel Andakis told me earlier that their success was a fruit of their labor in the eliminations round. However, right now, the HD Spikers need to tap into those winning ways as they pick up their momentum here in the second set. For the panel, what do you think Signal has to do to get them going in their match today? Thank you, Rain. I'll leave that up to you. Is there's a block by Pablo? Well, that's what they need to do. No, they cannot afford to just rely on Taiberia on Ses Molina. They have to help them out. And ito naman sa side ng Petrogas Angels. All of them contribute. And take a look at that one. It's by the Pablo blocking Troncoso after that last hit. Pablo hasn't been attacking much, but she's defending. That's her third point, first block point of the match. Rachel Sotones did not score against 
the crossovers, but she does come off the bench. She scored a point in their first meeting against the HD Spikers. Troncoso attacking against two blockers. Sultanas with a great pass. Cheng to the middle. Oh. Ah, with a point. Wow, that's a great set from Janelle Cheng. Running to the open side, pero deciding at the last second to go for that back week set to Revy Palma, who did not disappoint her. And going for that power dip. First time out here for Coach Shaq de los Santos, who listen in. Well, Cesc Molina and the HD Spikers down by 3, 12 9, and also down a set after losing by 11 in the first set, 25 14. Tai Bieria. So far, with two points, she came off the bench, didn't see much action in the first set. Well, this is the time for her to explode for the Signal HD Spikers. So Tones, really comfortable with her new role as a service specialist. Molina from the middle. Yes! Finally, a point for Cesc Molina. Off a combination play, that's what Coach Shaq told them earlier in that timeout. Simulan natin sa magandang pasa so we can create all the plays that we've been practicing. Two points in the first set, two points in the second set. Molina has four in total. Two-point game, 10, serving 12. Cheng to Vander Weide against two blockers. It goes outside, a point for the Angels. Vander Weide now has 10. Wow, a double-digit performance uh, in this game. At wala pa tayo sa second technical yeah. timeout in, this, in set number two. The only player so far in double digits, uh, Lindsey van der Weide, Rem Palma already with four, Pontillas with five, those are the top scorers for your Angels. Molina with a receive, not a good pass there. Troncoso will send it over underhand. Chen will set it up. Combination play, Lindsey van der Weide again. Wow, and loading on left pin again. Lindsey van der Weide going cross court. Si Janelle she knows what to do now with those three balls. Papepekeen uh, lang itong si MJ Phillips, but still, uh, she'll go to their number one scorer of the conference, Lindsay van der Weide. 11 points for van der Weide and only one attack error. That service wide for Rem Palma. That's going to be your second service error. That's high risk, high reward for you in this game. They're trying to load up on their serve para mahirapang uh, nakapag-deliver ng magandang first balls itong signal. No player with more than four points for the HD Spikers. Molina is their top scorer with four. Doria with just one point so far. She scored that in the first set. There's a block by Vieria against Phillips. Phillips will try again and score. Wow. <laughs> on the second try, Eric, Janelle Cheng going to her. Take a look at that one. Earlier, the power attack, the power attack was blocked, but this time around, nakita niya walang tao doon, so she, she just went there. Smart volleyball for Phillips. Four points for Phillips, three here in the second set, but Cheng with a service error, they can't really pull away, but the, so far, they've maintained control still of this second set, talking about uh, Coach Rodrigo Caport and the Angels. A lot of these uh, points, uh, of the Signal HD Spikers so far, coming from their unforced errors. So imagine if nabawasan yung unforced errors nila, medyo si siguro single digits lang ang score ng Signal in this set number two. Angels only with four unforced errors here in set number two. Ooh! Ooh. Wow, going down the line this time around. Back to a four-point advantage, Van der Weide with 12, and it's a 16-12 advantage for the Angels against the HD Spikers.
biggest basketball event in 2023 is coming to the Philippines. Purchase your FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 Ultimate Finals Fan Pass and get access to the much anticipated FIBA World Cup 2023 Championship game along with the battle for third place semifinals, quarterfinal games. Visit register.worldcup.basketball for more details. Hashtag win for all. Linser Thacker White has been so efficient here today. Ayala Salanero is in the game for the first time, replacing Jelka Yuna, and uh, she gets her first play to score a point for the HD Spikers. Dropping it behind the block of Phillips and Sultones. Taiberia really has to get going here in set number two. Ayala Salanero, like Chai Troncoso, did not play in the last two games of the HD Spikers, who basically has not seen action in the semifinals. There's Araneta with a push, Phillips with a save. A chance ball here for the HD Spikers. Molina with a push. Pineda. Pontillas off the block. Janela will pick it up. Estrañero to the middle. Meneses is rejected by Phillips. Soltones. Cheng will... On a one-two play. <laughs> Janela Cheng. Second time around. Oh. And a second point for her as well. She doesn't mind if it's the libero, and she just goes for it. Earlier, uh, Isa Maiza could not convert. Greco Sultanis could not convert, so sabi niya siguro, I'll take, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Janelle Cheng, by the way, in the first meeting between these two teams, 11 points and for a setter. That is unusual. That was a five-set loss, by the way, for the Angels. First meeting against the HD Spikers. What a dig for Van der Weide, Pontillas. Meneses blocked by Palma. Molina blocked again. Palma keeping it alive. Cheng. Pontillas outside. <laughs> the angle chosen the Miser Pontillas was, you know, very difficult to target. Because the set was already a bit far from the net. But you know, that's a good uh, decision for her, imagine overcook lang. Just a second error for Isa Maizu Puntillas. 14 serving 17. Oh, that's a difficult angle. No, it did not cross between the antenna for Soltones. So back-to-back -back errors for the Angels. It's a two-point game now. Petragas Angels uh, cannot allow the single HD Spikers to gain their momentum yeah. here. Another <laughs> one-two play there for Janelle Chen. That was saved by Estrañero. Palma with the push, picked up by Bieria. Molina against two blockers. Chen. Pontillas with the push. Doria picking it up. Meneses will play center. Oh. Molina, tough angle. Chen to the back row. There's a push by Wagner Ryder, picked up by Araneta. Molina blocked by Palma. Here's Araneta against single blocker. Oh! That's a bonus single lady block of Angelina Araneta. That's her first point of this game. And coming from a single block, no less. Take a look at that one. A perfectly timed single woman block against Angelina Araneta. And the coverage of Tiberia a bit late on that one. Uh, let's remember, Soltones did not score in that three set win versus the crossovers as Pontilla serves. Three point advantage for the Angels. Molina with a push. Pontilla's picking it up. Soltones will set it. Chance ball here for the HD Spikers. Molina blocked by Palma. Back to back kill blocks for the Angels and they put up a four point cushion. The strength of signal going. Uh, the Petrogas Angels way, take a look at that one. Another block point. This time it's Remy Palma blocking Cesc Molina. Molina will sit down. But let's remember the first meeting between these two teams, 12 blocks for the Angels against five blocks only for the HD Spikers. So in terms of blocking, the Angels are a much better yeah. team compared to the HD Spikers. They're very capable of uh, blocking a lot of uh, the HD Spikers hitters. But because this signal in their last two games in the semifinal round alone, and that nilang blockers yeah. just just like that one. And we need more of these actually in this game. But in their last game, HD Spikers with 12 blocks. That was against the Cool Smashers. 
But the Angels also with 12 blocks when they beat the crossovers. <laughs> yeah. So really, two really good blocking teams, but at least in the head-to-head -head matchup, Lamang ang uh, Angels right. with the 12 blocks against the five blocks only of Signal. Sotones. What a coverage there by Bang Pineda. Yeah, yeah, back row. Oh, yes! Oh, flying. <laughs> and the pipe, Dai Peria. Take a look at that one. A single block coverage against Remy Palma, and she puts it away. So much power behind that hit. She's fired up here for a signal. A timeout by the Angels who listen in. Well, Coach Raul Ricafort talking to Zeto Sotones and saying, Basan basan, nagigil nagigil ka. So, of course, Sports Vision President Ricky Palu. Uh, excellent tournament again they put together here and fans slowly filling up the Phil Sports Arena and just our first game of your last day of the semifinals coming up later crossovers and the cool smashers but it's a two-point game here Ricky Villavicencio the owner of Petrogas uh, their team trying to protect the two-point lead here Vander Weider that's outside oh it's called out but we'll see if they're going to challenge it that's a really close one. The call was outside by the Lions judge, but Herbert Matematico gave the point to the Angels. He's going to discuss with Robert Celso, our second referee, because the Lions judge said outside, so it should have been signal point, but there's an, seemed like an overrule by Herbert Matematico, our first referee. I think there were two different calls from the second referee who called it in, but the linesman called it out, so we'll see, yeah. Okay, so it is in. They overruled, both referees overruled the lines judge. It landed in for Vander Weiner, so Vander Weiner with 13 points already. All of that points, this is the last time out now for Coach Shaklo Santos. they are down by three. Okay, kasi ito sa sabayan, sa sabayan. Uh, kung kaya mo lumayo ng konti dito, si yung pasibat na. Pero ang target mong bibigyan nito sa kato. Okay? Ah, go, go, go. One big pass mo, one big pass mo. Danny Ravenna and Marciano in attendance here. of the Akari Chargers. Three-point lead here for the Angels-ish. What do the HD Spikers need to do? They're, they're not down by much compared to what the situation they were in in the first set. Well, they need to be consistent on their uh, reception first and then convert on the attack. But that's why they're hard. They don't have a first attack against the Petrogas Angels here. Vanderweide, partially blocked. General will play setter. Here comes Cha Chaitro oh. also. That's into the antenna. Point for the Angels. That's a bad sign for the signal HD Spikers. They called that timeout to uh, ice that Angels momentum. Pero hindi nila napigilan eh, no? Right now, four-point cushion here for Soltones and the Angels. 21 serving 17. They are up one set to nothing as well. Dakis, yes! And finally, just the first point of Rachel Ann Dakis, by the way. Which is very unusual on her part because in their last two games, uh, whenever she started uh, uh, in set number one, she usually had that output for the HD Spikers. Sa talaga mananalo sila dun sa set na yon. 
Yep, it's a service ace for DC. Two straight points for her after coming off a five-point performance against the Cool Smashers. That's what they're gonna bang on here. Talking about uh, the leadership of Rachel Ann Dakis. It's not yet too late for her to lead the squad to a second set win. We'll see if they do here. This is a two-point game. Vander Weide, General picking it up. Cayuna, Troncoso. Oh. Another hit straight to the antenna. Back-to-back yeah. back, back errors for Chai Troncoso. Right. Earlier, it was from the right pin this time around. From the open left pin, take a, take a look at that one. She had the right decision in mind. She was going to target the lower block of Janelle Cheng, pero too much juice and too much angle on that one, targeting the antenna unintentionally. Molina with four points, Vanessa's with three. They're on the bench right now for the HD Spikers. Three point game. Yeria. Wow. Really, the blocking of Petrogas Angels here in this game. On point, take a look at that one. A well timed block by Cheng and MJ Phillips. Back to a four point advantage. This is an over receive. Oh, oh. Wider, <laughs> unable to get it across the net. That was a gimme. Yeah. That was already a gimme for Van der Weide, but what's more uh, funny <laughs> from that last play? Good boy, pa eh. pwede bang i-save ni oh. Phillips eh. Pero sinalo na lang, siguro nagulat din siya. <laughs> Three-point game. But the Angels just two points away from a two sets to nothing advantage. Chang sets it up, Van der Weide redeems herself from the error. And it's four set points for the Angels right now. That has been the story of the attackers from the side of the Petrogas Angels. Pagkakamali ng isa, pababawin kita kagan. And that's what Lindsay Van der Weide did on that last hit. Chang with a good serve, not a good pass there from Dakis. Bieria too close to the net. General with coverage. Bieria will try again. One two play. Ball is still alive. Pieria. Pineda was right there. MJ Phillips block. MJ Phillips tries again. Cayuna with coverage. Pieria against two blockers. Blocked by Phillips. And Meneses with an actual battle kill. Finally. That was a very long rally. Time for block a couple of times. They cannot seem to overcome that hurdle, that blocking of Petrica's Angels. But this time around, they varied the set. They went to Meneses at the last second. So that paid off. One set point saved by the HD Spikers. Chai Troncoso. Cheng. Combination play. Yeah. That's it. Two. Take a look at that play. Janelle Cheng going to Lindsay Van Der Weide against Jel Cayuna, ending that set number two for Petra Guys. And the Angels are on a roll here in this last semifinal game against the HD Spikers, up two sets to nothing. It's so heartwarming to know that I have you guys backing me up. So I really appreciate you all. Thanks so much for supporting me and F2. To Elena, oh. yes. That's a fight, but that for you. Thank you very much. I'm really see first time. We have full hall. I'm really happy play in the Philippines. This is really good. This is really fantastic. <laughs> they turn to Betty. <laughs> I just want to thank every single PVL fan so much. You guys are crazy. Honestly, these are some of the biggest crowds I've ever played in front of. Um, the love is obvious, and just keep going. Love you guys. Goodbye. It was so hard. Good experience, and uh, I, I'm so happy I played here in uh, last year in my career. They're so crazy for Choco Mucho. They love so much, and they don't don't stop. I will also join to them. I will be fan of Choco Mucho. <laughs> Thank you, PVL fans. Thank you, PVL fans. Thank you so much, PVL fans. Love you.
So, kasi long line yun eh. Dito ang tama ng bola eh. Back inside the Phil Sports Arena for the first of two semifinal games in the reinforced conference of the Premier Volleyball League. You see that Angels up two sets to nothing against the HD Spikers. Much better performance for Signal here in set number two, but not enough to get them a W in the second set. Take a look at the blocking though of the Angels. Five to one, and that's been their fourth day here, and they've forced HD Spikers to two more errors in set number two. And let's remember, back in the open, we mentioned how important this game is for the Angels. Must-win situation for them in order to keep their hopes alive for a final spot. In the meantime, for the HD Spikers, we talked about this ish. They, you know, they seem to be in a good position with two wins, no losses in the semifinals, but they can't afford to lose in three sets. Yeah, they really cannot afford to lose in three sets. Uh, here against the Petrogas Angels because it will all boil down to the sets ratio, to the points ratio, especially if uh, the Cream and Cool Smashers win straight sets as well or four sets against the Charity Crossovers later uh, after, this, after yeah. this game. So the 2 nothing record in the semifinals might be for nothing yeah. if the if the HG Spikers lose today in three sets. They might even end up not even making it to the finals when they are actually right now the forerunners. Yeah, that's why for Signal, they really need uh, to win this game para naman uh, they'll go up to 3 and 0 oh, and assured of a final spot already. But for the Petrogas Angels, they know that uh, they need to win this game. It's all or nothing for them in three sets. And coach, uh, oh, sorry, tournament director Tony Liao was talking to us about all these complications earlier. And it's uh, you know, not easy. There's a lot of math involved. The set three underway, and for the first time in the match, HD Spikers have the lead. Yeah, and you can see from the faces of the Signal HD Spikers, they're trying to fire themselves up here in set number three because they know what's at stake in this set. Doria, that's her first point. She scored one in each of the sets. Only has three so far. Good serve again for Kayuna. This is going to be a chance ball for the HD Spikers. They go back to Doria, back to back points for Rose Doria, and what a start here. And I say that, I know it's 2 0, but they've not led at all in the entire game, the HD Spikers. So for them to be in this position, it's obviously a good sign for uh, Coach Shaq de los Santos. This is a really good sign for Coach Shaq and for the HD Spikers because they haven't led in this game, even in the earlier parts of each and every set that they've played so far. Another chance ball here going to the HD Spikers. Doria, this time picked up by Pontillas. Vander Weide is rejected by Araneta. Another free ball. Takis. Off the block, 3-0 start for the HD Spiders in the third set. 3-0 here in set number three. This time around, it's Rachel and Dahis going off the block. She very well knows what's at stake here for the HD Spikers. Uh, a seat in the final. And they've won bronze medals here in this uh in uh, the PVL, in the past two conferences, they want to level up in this conference and make that final uh, match. But Janelle Cheng, her third point, and she scored on a one-two play in each and every set. Yeah, she has other plans here. <laughs> she wants to defend their crown here in the, uh, the PVL, the That's reinforced right. conference. They are the defending champions of the reinforced conference, the uh, Petrogas Angels. That stops the three to nothing run. Ooh! By the HD Spikers, but Araneta back at it. Oh, that's unfortunate, Eric. That was a perfect set coming from Jill Cayuna. <laughs> Both Phillips and Janelle Chang were faked by that set of Cayuna. Open, open. Yeah. Everything but the point for Araneta. So, a little two-point run for the Angels. Oh, that's too low. Pontillas will set it for Vander Weide with a push. And Ral picking it up. Oh! Back row, and she yeah. stepped on the attack line. Let's check in with Rain Dixon. 
MJ Phillips has been phenomenal for the Petrogas Angels, but if you recall not long ago, she was playing a completely different position. MJ started in the Philippines as a wing spiker before transitioning into a middle blocker. She said the adjustment period took a while as she trained for both positions, but is glad in her new role in doing what she calls coursework. One thing that hasn't changed, however, is her superstitions. You can see MJ sporting the ninja headband look as per usual. She said that the fi that she finds comfort in the familiarity and it serves as her lucky charm as well. That's all for now. Back to the panel. All right, thank you, Rain. She is one of those few players who actually volunteered to move to middle blocker from a wing spiker. Vander Weide blocked off a combination play. MJ Phillips gets it through. Bieria. Yes, but hit. It hit the antenna. Yeah, it did. So that's a clear point for the Petrogas Angels. Lucky break right there. Look at that one. Yon, tomama sa antenna. So after a three-point run by the HD Spikers, the Angels answered with a three-point run of their own. There's Doria again. She really has come alive. Five points for Doria. Three scored here in the third set. And we're just at uh, the five for mark here in set number three. Pero that's three attack points already for Rose Doria being activated here early on in set number three. HD Spikers, their biggest lead, two points. They're up by one right now. Vander Weide against a single blocker. No good. It all starts with the perfect pass from the receivers of the Petrogas Angels. Janelle Chen just doing a throw out to their reinforcement, Lindsay Butterwide. And it's way open for her. 16 points now for Lindsay Vanderweide. Meneses with the tip. Chen picking it up. Pineda will set it. Contillas trying to rub it off the area, who keeps it alive. Araneta. Blocked. Cayuna. Back to Bieria. Blocked again. Oh, excellent defensive play after that by the Angels. Another block point for the Petrogas Angels. Ito na mga signal. What they need to do here is to not stop with their coverage. Kasi nakikita na nila ilang best sila na block ng Petrogas. So they have to strengthen their own coverage on the floor. And for the first time in the third set, Angels on top by one. Bieria. Pablo keeping it alive. Aiza Maizo continues. Via General. A great effort on the floor defensively by the HD Spikers. But this is a chance ball, and that's put away by Aiza Maizo continues. Again, Maizo continues scoring for the Petrogas Angels. She is the one scoring for Petrogas whenever Lindsay van der Weide is in the back row. What a hit. Six points already for Isa Maiza Puntillas, and it's a two-point advantage for Lindsay Vanderweide and the Angels. And SS oh, rejected oh. again. MJ Phillips, wow. seven points. Four of those from blocks. 8-5. Angels up by three against the HD Spikers. senior yung magdadala sa kanilang team sa Petrogas versus Signal na laban. PBL asked, be brave! <laughs> Tweet na! Uh, right now, yung senior niyang si Remy Pala with five points na nagdadala on uh, this entire game. And she has five points and the Angels need two sets to nothing and are up by two. 
Volley serve says, for Signal, it's gonna be the heart and soul of Signal. Racial Andakis, for Petragas, it's gonna be the mighty Isa Maizo Contilius. Sabi naman ni uh, Romel Alejo, Isa Maizo Contilius, she may not be utilized midway through the Elims, but she continues to prove that she is steady and ever reliable starter during the semi final round. Go, Petragas Eagles, God bless the team, and hoping that you will book a final slot. Eight points for Phillips. Five are all blocks. And the last tweet coming from our fans, aside from their import, Petragas should maximize Phillips with her blocking and quick sets. For Signal, Kayuna should be the more aggressive one in giving uh, good sets to Tybria. I like both teams. Kayuna with two points so far. Meneses on a running attack, sends it through and off Phillips. But what a game for MJ Phillips today. Yeah, pulling out. A reverse card here <laughs> against the Signal HD Spiders. Phillips coming off four blocks against the crossovers. Today, five blocks, and we, we're not yet halfway through set number three. Pontillas. Bieria sends it to Dakis. Cross court, picked up by Pablo. Pontillas again, oh. this time a tip. Wow. What a game. Yeah. Pontillas is showing us everything today. Take a look at that one. The wide up and then at the last second, a drop shot just behind the block of Rachel Ann Dakis. Helps to be 5'10". She's already one of the veterans at 34 years old, but what athleticism and, and just game IQ is right up there. Brennan Patton, that's her sixth point of the game. <laughs> and Coach Sack is going to call his first time out here. They are down by four. Again, as a refresher, the first meeting between these two teams was a five-setter won by Tai Vieria over Lindsey Van der Weide and the Angels. And right now, it doesn't, they're, they're not in a position uh, to, at least for now, yeah, and come up with a W. They're down by three, and they're struggling. Well, Chuck said at that timeout, we have to have a game plan here in set number three. We know that we need to keep the score close and try to win this set. Because ang nakasalalay dito ay yung final slot. Yeah. So that's what they need to be uh, aware of. Jen Janela, one of the rare Liberos who actually scored a point for the HD Spikers in their win versus the Cool Smashers. Difficult set there. Ooh, right on the line for Myla Pablo. Myla Pablo going down the line. That's a very long shot coming from Pablo. Take a look at that one. Sideways up in the air. It looked like she was going to go cross court, but opting to go down the line. So Torres back in the game. She scored a point in set number two. But scoreless in their win versus the crossovers. Good serve, bad pass there by Dakis. Dakis would have to readjust, sends it to the net. It's now a five-point lead for the Angels. That has been the problem for the Signal HD Spiker. It's their first ball woes. And it all starts from the heavy-loaded serves of the Petrogas Angels. That seems to be their game plan. And then after that uh, beautifully executed loaded-up serves, they're going to set up their blocking perfectly, waiting up in the air. Soltones, second serve, five-point game. Molina is in for Dakis. Molina gets it. Molina unable to get the kill, but yep, there's a setting error there going to be called against Pantineda, double contact. Yeah, double contact called against uh, the libero of Petrigas, Pantineda. There's Meneses on your screens. Meneses with five points. Cayuna with two. She is serving now. And 
Shen Cruz is in the game for the first time, replacing Bakineda, and uh, there's a reception error on her part. Another service ace for Joel Cayuna. For Signal, if they want to catch up here in set number three, this is the perfect time to do so. Because uh, it's the number one server of the conference. Uh, on the line! <laughs> oh, yes! Back to back aces for Cayuna. She has four points. Yeah, and they need they need that more. Those service aces from in from Joel Cayuna. And this is a three to nothing run for the HD Spikers coach Rob Lucafort will burn his first time out. We'll listen in. Crossovers. Janelle Cheng, three points, all from one two plays. Meantime, back to back aces for Jelka Yuna. She has four points already. And she has single handedly made this run for the HD Spikers. Vander Weide, really difficult angle there. Bieria with a dig. Ooh. Molina, that hit the antenna. And they stop their own momentum here. That's a clear attacking error from Angelia Raneta. It seems uh, from our angle, at least, Eric, that uh, it hit ball, there. Yeah, it hit there. There's a uh, challenge here, antenna touch by uh, the coaching staff. Uh, I think they're going to waste the challenge here because that clearly hit the antenna from where we're sitting. Well, uh, let's see if it's going gonna, it's gonna to serve its purpose. HD Spikers down by two and down two sets to nothing. Losing by 11 in the first set, and losing by four in the second set. They have a much better win-loss record here in the semifinals at 2-0, but they can't afford to lose three sets because if they do, they fall down to 2-1. And, and whoever wins later, if if the cool smashers win later and go up to 2-1, you mentioned you were going to talk about points and sets won. Yeah. Uh, firstly, it's going to be the sets ratio uh, to be considered. And the next would be, kapag may mga nagtayo dun sa sets ratio, the next one would be the points ratio. So, it will really matter depending on uh, the result of this game first. Yeah. Coach Shaq knows the importance of that. That's why this is, by the way, the first challenge. There. Uh, yeah, clearly hit the antenna. <laughs> oh, oh, just wanting to take a breather for his girls. So unsuccessful challenge, only one challenge remaining for Coach Chuck Los Santos and the HD Spikers. Still two challenges for Coach Ralph with the Fort and the Angels. Back to a three-point advantage for the ladies in red. 14 serving 11. That's oh. going to be outside Palma. This is <laughs> going to be service error number three. Make that four, sorry, service error number four for Palma. It did serve its purpose, <laughs> wasting a challenge. Uh, talking about Coach Shaq, icing Palma on the serve. Cheng sends it to Vander Weide against two blockers. Cayuna picks it up. General will underhand set to Bieria. Bieria, this is a chance ball for the Angels. Cheng blocked by Doria, over received by Pontillas. Bieria blocked again. But what a save by Molina. Chance ball for the Angels. They go to Vander Weider with a push. Bieria over and out. They're saying there's a check ball. There is, according to first referee Herbert Matematico. So it's a one point game. Second got that one on the replay. Oh, it's off of MJ Phillips' block. Oh, down to a one point lead here. Chance to tie on this rally for the HD Spikers. 
Combination play three, Lady Block against Van der Weide. She asks for it again, she gets it, and scores! <laughs> Lindsay Van der Weide on fire here in this game. Galing pa combination play yun, yes. pero lumabas ka agad siya sa open pin for that hit. And again, targeting that deep cross-court area of the floor defense of the Signal HD Spikers. Back to a two-point lead for the Angels. Good pass. Bieria. Yes! Duplicating the type of an attack, uh, let's say, Van der Weyde did earlier. But she's been quiet so far here. She hasn't had that safe output for Signal in their last two games. Chance to tie on the Doria serve for the HD Spikers. 14-15. Set 3. Cruz. A push there. Ooh! What a play for Van der Weyde. You know how athletic you have to be to able to get to the ball and avoid the net at the same time. Yeah, and how long are you? <laughs> Take a look at that one. He knew he was on the exactly. way down. Two point advantage here for the Angels over the HD Spikers. 16 14, third set. Got 300 pesos? Enjoy NBA TV Philippines. Now more affordable at Signal Postpaid Plan 290 or prepaid load 300. Watch all the action extended until December 31, 2022. Now, I don't know if I asked you this, Ish, but do you have a, a favorite NBA team or NBA player? <laughs> uh, I was a big fan of the LA Lakers, but we'll see uh -huh. if they do have a chance this year. Uh, Lakers really struggling. Um, although, uh, this break during the uh, the Thanksgiving weekend uh, has allowed them to sort of re replenish and recharge themselves. They've picked up several wins already. Baila Pablo off the block. Back to a two-point advantage for the Angels. It's been a total team effort for the Petrogas Angels. It's not just let's say Van der Weide anymore for their squad. Baila Pablo off the block. Pablo with five points, four attacks, one block. MJ Phillips though, she's been playing superb. Eight points off five blocks and two attacks. And a service ace. Pablo with a power tip, picked up by Molina. That's over, uh, received, and Pama puts it away. Three-point advantage for the Angels. <laughs> Too much at stake here for both of these teams. Petrogas wants and needs to win this in three straight sets for Signal. They want to win at least a set to boost their chances in making it into the final gold medal match. Well, that's, that's a final timeout for the HD Spikers here in set number three. And you heard the adjustment made there by Coach Shaq. He wants Araneta to receive Bieria to be up front already. It's all going to be up to the players to execute the adjustments that Coach Shaq want uh, to see inside the court. Good serve by Phillips. Better received, though, by Jack Janela. And there's Meneses with a better execution offensively for the HD Spikers. Right? We haven't seen that a lot from the HD Spikers in this game. The quick sets to Riri Meneses and Doria. Tiberia, six points, four in the second set. She did not score in the first set. Oh, 
almost a service ace. Chance ball for the HD Spikers. Molina with the power tip. Same place, same result. Back to back points for the HD Spikers. And it's a one point game. Good adjustment on the side of the single HD Spikers. Opting for drop shots. Para madisorient lang ng konte in defense ng Petrogas. Good pass by Cruz. Pila Pablo. Jack Jonella. Molina into the net. They could have tied it, but now they're down by two. Says Molina and the HD Spikers. So Jack de los Santos pacing the sideline. He can't do much anymore, but Bart orders. He can't call a timeout. He's out of timeouts here in the third set. Yeah, and he only has one challenge left here in this set. A poor pass. This is going to be a chance ball for the Angels. Cheng goes back to Myla Pablo with a push. Molina through the double block. Yes. That's what they need to do here. No hesitations on the attack. Just go for it. And look for the seams and the holes of the defense of the Angels here in set number three. And that's what uh, Molina exactly did on that last play. And as this former Flying Titan and a former Angel as well. Molina. What a save there by Cruz. Back row. Vander Weide off the block. Cayuna picks it up. Molina again. That was over received. Pablo trying to go down the line. That's Menessa saving a chance ball again for the Angels. Oh. One to play for Cheng, picked up by Araneta. Another chance ball for the Angels. Cheng to Pablo. Janel <laughs> Cheng, this is her fourth point of a one to play. <laughs> the current sense of Janel Cheng as a setter really. He parang nag-equal na siya sa being an attacker. Eh. No, kita kita yeah. niya yung, yung mga butas ng defense ng signal. Eh. Back to a two-point advantage for the Angels. Pablo with five. She has committed two service errors. Doria. Pablo with the save. Batter wide. Araneta. Here comes Molina. That was blocked. Molina again. Oh. That was tipped by Palma, and Molina will score. So far, so good for Cesc Molina, contributing three attack points in the last uh, five, I guess, of the single HD Spiders. And they're very close here, tying in the second, uh, the third set, rather. Potentially uh, grab the lead. HD Spikers down by one. They can tie in this rally. Over received, no, not quite. There's a push, and <laughs> Vander Weide makes it a two point cushion for the Angels. The connection of Janelle Cheng and Lindsay Vander Weide has been effective so far here, all throughout the game for the Petrogas Angels. Take a look at that one. Over in the receive, and Janelle Cheng just saving that one and going. Uh, for an open set to Lindsay van der Weide, and she scores. Nicole Tiamzon came off the bench versus the crossovers. She's serving for the HD for the Angels. Chance ball here for the HD Spikers. Molina into the net. Oh, and this could be the beginning of the end for the HD Spikers. They're now down by three. Right. No more timeouts for Coach Jack Los Santos. And the Angels three points away from the win. And if the Angels win this in three straight sets, it's going to be their back-to-back -back wins in three straight sets. A very crucial and important win for them. Araneta. Off the block, Angeli Araneta. Angeli Araneta going down the line. And off the front, off the block kill. She has been silent for the single HD Spikers in this game. Only five points for Araneta. That's just her second point. In the third set, she did not score in set number two. Not a good pass for Van der Weide. She gets it back. Araneta picking it up. Cayuna goes to Bieria with the push. Cruz picking it up. 
Vander Weide blocked Cruz with coverage. Vander Weide a third time. Tiberia saved by Phillips. Oh, almost another point on a one-two play by Janelle Cheng. Two-point game. <laughs> oh, that was outside, saved by Molina. Chance ball here for the Angels. Oh, Jay Phillips with the emphatic kill. Uh, the Angels two points away from the win. Wow, the steadiness and the composure of Janelle Cheng in this game really showing us that she has been one of the key factors of why they are, you know, two points away from snatching this win away from the single HD Spikers. What a set there for Janelle Cheng. And the drop shots, yeah. no? Talagang alam niya kung saan pupuntahin yung mga bole. That's yeah. an over-receive there by MJ Phillips. Overreach. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. overreach call. That's the right call, Eric. It's still a two-point lead here. And they only need two points to win this game. This is a full front line for the Petregas Angels. Maizo, Pontilias, Phillips, and Lindsay Van der Weide. All in front for the Petregas Angels. Cheng, they go to Van der Weide with a push. Van der Weide will score. There's a different challenge. Uh, Coach Shakhtar Santos will use his well, final challenge here. Ball in, ball out. Might as well, because if he if he didn't, that's going to be match point for the Angels. Yeah, and if they're successful here, uh, yep. Eric, just a point deficit. Yep. It'll it'll be a one point game. So that's a huge turnaround. Ayun yung napag-usapan din natin kanina. You know, every set matters, every yeah. point matters uh, in this semi-final round. Because it could end up uh, with a triple tie at two and one uh, if the Petrogas Angels man manage to win here. Yeah, that's, oh, that's on the line. That's on the line. Clearly on the line. So no more challenges remaining for Coach Sakta de Santos. And no more timeouts as well. Yeah. This is, uh, by the way, match point 24 21 now. Oh. The final spot here on the line for both of these teams. Lindsay, Lindsay Van der Weide deserves. She has 21 already. Vieria, Van der Weide picking it up. Van der Weide, no, that's Pontillas Janela with the up. Vieria, Myla Pablo, what a save there by MJ Phillips. Araneta, blocked by Pablo. Vieria, the push. There's a net touch. Gonna be called on MJ Phillips. And she's not going to argue that call. So it's a two-point game for Signal. Pero ito namang Petrogas, already at match point. There. On, on the landing. Coach Ricafort will call his last time out as well. We'll listen in to the Angels. The Angels lost one match point. They still have a couple more. Araneta will serve. Lindsay Van der Weide with 20 points. All from attacks. No blocks, no aces. And only two attack errors. What a perfect game she's played today. Yeah, and also with the help of MJ Phillips with her blocks, yeah. Maisa Pontilius with her varied attacks, and Janelle Cheng with uh, her magnificent setting performance here. Molina with a dig. Dieria. Off the block. Dieria saves another match point. It is a one point game now. Still a match point though for the Petrogas Angels. But if you're a Petrogas fan, you want them to close this out here, right now. In set number three. That's right. Ayala Straniero on your screens. Saw action in set number two. Maila Pablo. Araneta. Cayuna goes back to the area. Oh, and time the area. Back to back points. Three point run by the H 
HD Spikers, they save all three match points and we're tied at 24. Take a look at that one, Tai Beria off-timing her approach and going for that off-the-block kill. Nerves of steel for this young lady. No more timeouts for the Angels. Pontillas with the drop. What a save by Bieria. Maila Pablo. Araneta picking it up. Bieria. Ah, oh, Ty Bieria on the wow. line. Three straight points for Ty Bieria. And from down three match points, the HD Spikers are up a set point. <laughs> All coming from Ty Bieria. And they're going to challenge it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, ball in, ball out challenge. Assistant coach Arnold Daniel raising the card, but it did look like it was on the line. We'll check it here. For the Petrogas Angels, you want to have that killer instinct right yeah. here. And right now, you cannot afford to hesitate on the attack, especially when, you're only, uh, when you only have a single block coverage in front of you. That's clearly... That's even before the line, so... Just Here. like what Tiberia is doing, no? Kahit dalawa yung blocker sa harap niya, she just yeah. goes for it because she knows it's crunch time. Unsuccessful challenge. 4 to nothing run here for the HD Spikers. No more timeouts for both teams. Cheng goes to Pontillas. Over-received. And MJ Phillips saves! A set point. <laughs> okay. coaching, coaching staff of HD Spikers complaining there's double contact, but they can't challenge anymore. Yeah. But after this uh, an unchallengeable uh, call or miss call, you can challenge a double contact. Pero in the no? we're tied at 25. We'll see if they manage to close it out here. MJ Phillips with a serve. Pieria with a dump. And the HD Spikers back at set point 26 25. That's right. Uh, again, set point number two for the signal HD Spikers. That has been the missing link for them. The perfect passes and yeah. then the contributions and the high output of Tiberia in this game. Maybe it's not too late for them. We'll see. 10 points for Pieria. Pontillas. The area with an excellent kick. Molina. Over received. Janela. Cayuna. Meneses! Oh! And the HD Spikers come up with a W when they needed it the most. Wow, and they know. They know <laughs> the implications of that uh, win, of that set number three win. Yeah, they needed that. They have a higher chance of making it to the set, to the final and the gold medal match. Come from behind win by the HD Spikers in set number three. They were down three match points. Tied the area single-handedly carried the team and they come up with a big win, 27-25 over the Angels.
We're back inside the Phil Sports Arena. Uh, an exciting matchup between the Angels and the HD Spikers. Well, just when it seemed the Angels were about to close it out with three match points in the third set, HD Spikers come alive and Ty Vieria getting them through that really tough stretch down in the third set to get the W. Take a look at some of the highlights of second or three. That was a uh, kind of a lopsided set already for the Petrogas Angels in the beginning. Pero itong signal, they did not let off. They still tried to catch up and hang in there. And successfully, in the latter part of that set, number three win, they managed to steal that away from the Petrogas Angels. And uh, it all back on the attacks of Tiberia, uh, their heavy loaded serves, and the good setting of Kayuna. And you know, wala kasi in the first two sets, yung perfect passing ng signal. Yun yung uh, nagpanalo sa kanya their first two games in the semifinal round. Pero may kita natin sa set number three statistics. It all boils down to that reception. Attack points, 18 for signal, 15 only for the Pentagas Angels. Block points, three, lamang na ng Angels. No, no blocks for signal. Aces, two on nakuha ng signal. No service aces for the Pentagas Angels. And phone errors were tied here at seven apiece. So, yun talaga, uh, when it really mattered the most, uh, they served hard. They had the reception uh, going on for them, and they managed to seal that set number three win. So here we go, set number four. Angels must win situation still, because they are only one and one in the standings here in the semifinals. So one-two play there for Janelle Cheng. What a save for the area. Chance ball here for the Angels, something they did not capitalize on late in set number three. Molina blocked by Cheng. Araneta gets it back and scores! Uh, it seems as if there's uh, a switch here. Para na sign ng signal HD. Uh, yung body language, no? Talagang nakikita mas gumagalaw na sila in this uh, set. And if you're Petrogas Angels, you know that you still have a chance because uh, you still have the Cream 9 Cherry Kiko game. So they cannot afford to uh, let up here and uh, feel disappointed because they have not finished their run. Lindsay Vanderweide from the back row fires one in. That's 21 points now for Vanderweide. You could have got that uh, power hit from the pipe. <laughs> and it's Jack Trunella. Uh, being targeted on that hit. Araneta. That's dug up. Vander Weide blocked by Doria. Slowly but surely, the blocking of signal making its way back uh, in, in this game. Perfectly well timed block against the reinforcement of Petrogas. Doria with uh, that monster block. Doria with six points already. You mentioned Doria coming off a seven point performance. Ses Molina, that's her second service error. Molina with seven points. Two all, set number four. Doria. That's dug up by Pablo. Vander Weide. Tough angle, but she's able to arc her body and give it an off speed attack. A bit underneath the ball, but she knew there was a hole behind the block of Doria. It's a good point for Lindsay. 22 points for Lindsay Vander Weide, and she puts the Angels on top by one. Combination play, Pierre with a kill. Pierre again off the block. Slowly picking up her own pace here in this game. Take a look at that one. That shoot set to the open side. Late na close out block. It don't see MJ Phillips because the set was uh, a bit too fast. Three all, set four. Phillips. Against the double block, she pushed it through. Against the double block of Riri Menezes and Ty Maria. And G. Phillips, Bumawi Kagad. Phillips with 11. Five attacks, five blocks, one ace. Bieria. Vander Weide. 
Janela picking it up. Vieria again. Oh, rejected. Excellent defense at the net once again for MJ Phillips. They need more of that. Uh, the block points against Ty Vieria because she has been hot here in this uh, latter part of uh, the game. It, lalo na kanina, no, no, yung set number three, siya yung humabul doon for the Signal HD Spikers. Meneses picked up by Pineda. Molina has been digging quite well from the back row. Vieria. Pontillas. Locked by Meneses. And uh, the, H the HD Spiker is reading the attacks of Maiza Pontillas uh, in this game slowly. Kanina, dami po si Maiza Pontillas, eh, no? Pontillas only seven points. Has not scored in the fourth set. Vander Weide with a push. Vieria with the up. Back row Molina. That's Pineda. Montillas. Jack Jonella. Molina diving for it. Chance ball here for the Angels. Vander Weide. <laughs> Another cross court kill for Lindsay Vander Weide. Fishing out the block of uh, Meneses is MJ Phillips, so that's an excellent set coming from Janel Cheng. Two point advantage for the Angels. Six serving four. Vander Weide with 23. All from attacks. One two play. Jerry Cayuna makes it a one point game. She hasn't done that a lot in this game, but when she does, she makes sure it's a point. For her squad, he could get that one. A one-two play on the second ball. First player in double digits, Ty Vieria with 11. Blocked by Molina. There's a dump attempt by Phillips. Over received. Myla Pablo. Jeff Janela with a dig. Molina on the attack. Pontillas trying to go down the line. It's wide. But there's a check ball. Yeah, there's a check uh, called against Cesc Molina. So back to a two-point advantage for the Angels. MJ Phillips with one ace. 12 points in total. One to play again for Jel Cayuna, that's going to be her sixth point of the game. Jel Cayuna activates herself <laughs> in this set. Take a look at that one. Another one to play for Jel. And they're playing a bit more loose here yeah. compared to the first two sets. Although they f find themselves down by a point still. Six serving seven. Meneses with eight points. Seven attacks, one block. She committed a service error earlier. <laughs> Almost served prior to the whistle. Oof, really difficult set there for Puntillas. Doria, I was slowed down by Pablo. Vander Weide, back row, that is on the line. Yeah. That's on the line there. Lindsay Vander Weide from the pipe. And two point lead here for the Angels off this back row attack by Lindsay Vander Weide. 8 6 over the HD Spikers, set number 4. Back inside the Phil Sports Arena, venue for the last day of the semifinals, 2022 Reinforced Conference. After leading two sets to nothing and up three match points in the third set, Angels buckled and allowing the HD Spikers to win 
with a come from behind effort. And right now, Angels leading by two in set number four, eight six. Vander Wider hits it outside. It's a miss hit. I mean, from let's say Vander Wider, he apologizes to the bench. But you can see that Janelle Chang trying to milk her whenever, wherever she is inside the court. Third attack error for Lindsay Vander Wider. It's a one point game. Kayuna has been serving so well. Jell Kayuna with three service aces so far. Another good serve. Maya Pablo. Cross court is outside. Let's check in with Rain Tixon. Signal doesn't want to just advance, they want to make a statement. After that, come from behind win in the third set, Coach Shap de Los Santos yelled, May game patayo, referring to the final should things go their way. There was a lot of hugging and yelling after that emotional victory, and Signal wants to just end the semifinals with a win. Coach Shap reminded his squad na patuloy magchaga para makuha nila ang panalo. Can the HG Spikers do just that? Let's see here in set number four. All right, thank you, Rain. <laughs> well, not if they can't stop Janelle Chang. Five points all. That was a first touch, and she sent it over and gets a point. The court sense of Janelle Chang really uh, showed us uh, na marami ring buta sa defense itong signal, no? We just take a look at it, pero wow. ito na ang signal. Kita-kita nila kung saan yung block ng Petrogas on that last play. And dito na nila kay Doria kung saan walang tumalot. Take a look at that one. That was a great pass as well. Kayuna didn't even have to move and Doria easily put it away. Yeah. Doria with seven already. Nine all. Set number four. Vander Weide dug up by Molina. Tiberia, Pineda, that's gone. Tiberia gives the HD Spikers the lead for the first time in set number four. Tiberia, she's a deadly hitter whenever she gets her rhythm. Take a look at that one. Off the block, off of Pineda's defense. Slowly but surely, nakukuha na nila yung, ano eh, yung defense nila, eh, yung pattern nila at the back. And then they uh, are successful with converting uh, uh, kapag nag counter attack sila. So a very su uh, successful run so far here for the single HD Spikers. Janelle Cheng with another 1-2 play. Six points already. Palma already with four service errors. She has the most of any Angel. So she better take it easy here. No. Oh, <laughs> that's five service errors for Palma. Again, on the service line, an error for Palma. HD Spikers back up by one, 11-10. Pandoria with her first service error. Game is tied at 11. Yeah, but take note that this is a must-win set for Petro Gaz, no? Oh! Wow! <laughs> That's three straight yep. service errors. Second service error for Janelle Chen. Fans, this was, I don't know, feel like both teams may be tired already yeah. at this point. Or maybe they're feeling the pressure, especially on the side of the Petrogas Angels. Janela will set it up. Pieria will score. And it seems like the Angels a step slower than they were yeah. in the first two sets. Definitely. They did not start this game like this. Uh, earlier, they were defending properly, blocking a lot of attacks uh, from the side of Signal. But this time around, parang, ano eh, the tables have turned. Yeah. One point lead for the HD Spikers. Puntillas. That's outside from Cayuna. <laughs> Nobody getting any sort of momentum yeah. here. Ish. I mean, it's just a back and forth. Yeah, back and forth oh. errors, actually. Yeah. Wala pa. Lead points in the last five uh, sequences, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh -oh. Ooh. 
That's wow. six unforced errors for both of these teams uh, from that 12-12, right? Uh, <laughs> Pace has slowed down tremendously yeah. as well here in set number four. Both teams parang nasa limbo eh. Yeah. Pablo. That's dug up by Araneta. Underhand set by Cayuna. Here comes Molina. And Pineda will try to keep it alive. Yes, she does. What a dive there for Pineda. Chance ball for the HD Spikers. Doria outside. Oh, another unforced error. This time on the attack. <laughs> wow. That's 4 to 4 for both of these teams on the errors. And 4 all <laughs> here in the fourth set. Oh! Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just, I mean, there are no words to actually describe how bad both teams are serving right now. Yeah. Nine straight unforced errors. Five for Petrogas, four for Signal. We'll see if they make it to ten. <laughs> oh. Kayuna has no service errors so far. Pablo. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that's the first clean point for either yeah. <laughs> of these teams. Myla Pablo with the cross point kill. Six points for Pablo of five attacks and one block. 15 all. And you know, that's a good sense of uh, urgency for the Petrogas Angels. Because every time Kayuna was serving, Lumalayu yung signal. Eh. Araneta. Cheng will set it. Vander Wider with a push. Yes! Back to back attack points for the Petrogas Angels. And they are up by one. 16 15 over the HD Spikers here in set number four. to control their unforced errors ish yeah and uh, for the last uh, two sequences no uh, it went uh, the angels way to attack points for them one from myla pablo and one from van der weide and they need to sustain this uh, kind of a scoring output from their open spikers if they want to win this set janela with a dig on the palma attack Bieria. One to play for Cheng. That was red. Araneta with the tip that goes outside of the block. Yeah, and I think they're going to challenge it. It might be uh, on the line. We'll see. From my angle, uh, it looked like it caught the line. So we'll see on the challenge. First challenge for Coach Raul de Cafort and the Angels here in set number four. Angels had three match points in the third set. Lost all of them en route to dropping the third set. Yeah, and they even had a timeout. Yeah. Oh, this will look like it's on the line. Yeah. It's clearly on the line. It's a good block from Janelle Cech and a good challenge from Coach Rika for it. So it's going to be a two-point lead now for the Angels. 17-15 are of a successful challenge by Raldri Kaport. Both coaches have two challenges remaining in set number four. Not a good pass there by Bieria. Molina sends it over. Vander Weider with a power tip. Cayuna picking it up. Janela will play setter. Bieria back row no. into the net. Yeah. An unforced error on the attack. 
uh, coming from Tiberia. And Coach Sack will call his first timeout. They're down by three. Well, the HG Spikers have been have been there and done that. They've been down by three before. In fact, they're down three match points. Yeah, and uh, as we all know, the the uh, the single HD Spikers are the, you know that. The hottest team uh, in the semi-final round, they are picking at the right time. And yung paulit ulit natin sinasabi, no? Kaya they're able to, you know, uh, catch up to these teams kahit na malayo yung labang yeah. na kalaban. Good pass. Oh, but better dig there from Pineda. Vander Weide down the line. Yes! Yeah. That's the kind of uh, hit from Lindsay Van Vander Weide that we need to see from her if... Uh, they're targeting a win against uh, the single HD Spikers here today. Her 26th point of the match, Eric. Wow. Off 26 attacks, by the way, all from offense. Araneta. Pineda picking it up. Cheng chasing it down. Vander Weide again off the block. This is a five point lead for the Angels. And let's remember, no lead is safe. <laughs> again. From the left pin, Lindsay van der Weide going off the block. And slowly but surely, now they have the body language eh, that they've shown us in the uh, sets that they won. That set number one win and that set number two win. Six to nothing run by the Angels. That is, that ends on the third serving error by Maya Pablo. Well, if they want to pull away, this is the perfect time to do it. Talking about the Petragas Angels because uh, Para mas tumaas yung chance nila to make it to the championship round, uh, they do not want to give a point away yeah. uh, dito sa signal HD Spikers. That's, by the way, the seventh error for the Angels here in set number four. But, <laughs> wow, where would they be without Lindsay Bentley Wilder? Now 28 points. Right. And she's been unstoppable. <laughs> Take a look at that one. The last five points coming from her. Going cross court, and that's already uh, off of an off system set. That's the last timeout for Coach Shaq de los Santos. They're down by five again. But we reiterate, they've been here and they've done that. They've overcome a deficit late in a set. Can they do it again? Good pass by Janela. And Tybiaria, here she goes again. Let's remember, she was the hero late in set number three. Three straight points to overcome three match points. Yeah. But I it was all because of their steady passing, uh, their perfect receptions in that latter part of set number three that made them catch up. Dun sila nagiging shaky ngayon eh, sa first balls and the floor defense. Talking about signal. They go to the hot hand, but this time Vander Wyden misses the mark. Yeah. Two straight points for the HD Spikers. But that was the right intention for her. She saw that uh, MJ Phillips uh, fished out two blockers already. So she saw that that angle would be a good target. Three point game. Cheng, Vander Weide against two blockers. Pontillas picks it up. Vander Weide again. What a save by Cayuna. What an angle oh. for Tabiaria. And it's three straight points now for the HD Spikers. It's just a two point game. And take a look at that one. Off system set, Beria targeting the deep cross court of.
the floor defense of Petragas. That's a good point. Sabi ko kayo, hindi pa pag dalawa na ngayon block, gagalaw na lang kayo. Spin-spin na lang. Sayang. Okay, nakita. 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 Okay, She's the only player in the 20-point mark for both teams. Doria with seven points. She has not scored an ace. Good pass. Vander Weide against two blockers. Wow, how quick did she get to the ball that time around? Lindsay Vander Weide wants to finish and close this game out in four. Take a look at that one. Riri Manessin's block a bit late on the combination play. Three points away, we'll see if they can close it out here. Cheng had an, a service error earlier, serves well this time. Manessis blocked by MJ Phillips. Two straight points for the Angels, and they bring back a four-point advantage. Inching closer to that W, a perfectly well-timed block against Riri Manessis. MJ Phillips again, tallying another kill block. Bieria with a push. Cheng, they go to Pontillas. Yes! Eyes up, eyes up, Pontillas. This is five match points for the Angels. Yeah, and what a time for her to score. Kasi kanina, in set number three, a lot of those sets from Cheng went her way. Pero uh, hindi niya na-convert. Yeah. This time around, she's successful. Kayuna to Bieria. Chen goes back to Van der Weide for the finish. There. Yes, Lindsay yes. Van der Weide, 30 points ish. Wow, and that's a W for Petragas, keeping their hopes alive for a finals gold medal match slot in the reinforced conference. It took, it took them the longer round, but they got there. They had three match points in the third set. They lost it, but Van der Weide, they did not give up a match point here in the fourth set. Yeah, they needed that win against Signal uh, today because they're at 1-1. So the pressure now lies to the uh, oh, uh, the Invitational Conference champions, the Creamline Cool Smashers. Uh, whatever the outcome of the next game is, it's going to depend whoever uh, is going to make it to the gold medal game.
out for it. Back inside the Phil Sports Arena, uh, the confirmation of the four set win by the Angels over the HD Spikers. In four sets, let's uh, go to Rain Tixon with Lindsay Vanderweide. First of all, Lindsay, congratulations on your 30 points. You had dominant victories in the first and second set, but a close game in the third. How were you able to turn things around in the fourth? I mean, I just think we had the momentum the entire game. Even when we lost that set, I think we were still playing well. Signal's a great team. They're going to bounce back, obviously. But we knew we had to turn it around the fourth, and we did that. It was a hard fight up until the end, but we clutched it at the end, so it felt great. Speaking of momentum, you said that you wanted to carry over the momentum coming off that big win against Cherry Eagle. How do you think you can translate those winning ways into the finals? Yeah, it definitely feels good to have these two big wins, two big wins right before the finals. So um, I won't say it's easy to carry that momentum, but at least we know how it feels to play well. So we can think about that when we're carrying it on. Personally, for you, you had 30 points, which is one of your highest outputs here in the PBL. Do you think there was any special preparations for this match? I mean, not really. I mean, me and Chang were meshing tonight as we usually do. I knew this was a game that I was going to have to score high, and uh, I did it, so it feels good. <laughs> now, do you have any message to your fans and supporters, especially the ones here in the venue today? Yes, I want to say thank you to all the fans. You guys are crazy. This is definitely the best energy I've ever felt since college. So it's great to have them here. Thank you to my family and my boyfriend. I love you guys. All right, that was Lindsay Vanderweider, player of the game. All right, thank you, Rain. Congratulations, Lindsay Vanderweider and the Pietro Gas Angels for uh, winning in four sets against the Signal HD Spikers. 30 big points for Lindsay Vanderweider, top scoring for the team in this winning effort. Uh, two other players in double digits, MJ Phillips with 13, Isa Maiza Pontinas with 10. Yeah, as, you, as we can see, no, uh, lamang na lamang talaga yung Petrogas Angels when it comes to the scoring output. 16 to 44 sa atake, 13 to 4 sa blocks. Aces dun lang lumamang yung signal, no, 5 to 1, and opponent errors medyo dikit. And that gave the win for Petrogas Angels in four sets. So right now, Petrogas, even with the win, a 2 in 1 in the standings, they're not guaranteed a final spot. They need yeah. to wait for the winner of this next matchup, the crossovers and the cool smashers. Thanks to our director, Alneri, for Rain Tixon, my partner, Ispul Barosa, I'm Eric Tipan. Stand by for the cool smashers crossovers next in the semifinal matchup of the Premier Volleyball League on One Sports.